Well, howdy ho, Stampers Deb Velder here. Welcome back to my studio. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. And today I'm gonna to show you how to watercolor. I love watercoloring because it makes things look so elegant. I'm gonna show you how to do this card right here, but I'm also gonna show you a couple of variables with that same little stamp set to make it look so very, very elegant. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with um, this one right here, and then I'll show you how I did these little guys right here. So the first thing that I needed to do, and I did it for this one, and I also did it for this one right here, is I cut out the little frame. Now on this one, I didn't use the insert, but for this one right here, I always use the uh, extra one. So I always take the extra pieces, and I put them away for another card, so I always have them. All right, so that's that right there. What I did was I took one of my dies, and I just cut out the inside of it, all right? And this is a piece of watercolor paper, and I just cut out the inside of that um, with my die, all right? All of the ingredients are gonna be listed below so you can see what I'm using, but for the, the, the um, sake of saving time, I wanted to make sure that um, we got through the whole thing without um, a big long spiel, and everybody knows how to uh, cut. I used my Vagabond to cut this out. Um, so we got our hole in the card. This is watercolor paper. The next thing that you need to do is you need to stamp on it. All right, now I'm gonna show you some tricks and trades of um, clear stamps. Now, they're not my favorite, but I've learned to use them because most of the car, or most of the stamps are switching to clear stamps. So when I mount them, I mount them with rubber gloves, but with these clear stamps, you can't see them, and that makes watercoloring so very difficult um, when you're trying to use your markers. So what do I mean by that? This is the, this is the actual stamp right here. But when you open it up, I always condition these, all right? So you can't really see um, the pattern. So if I were to take this off, but I don't have my gloves on, if I were to take this off, it was completely clear and I wouldn't know where to put my marker. So what I do is I take my little kit and you can purchase these little kits from us. Um, they're filled with everything that you need. So it's got a little ink pad in here and this is um, one of our uh, um, intense black inks, all right? And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, and normally you want to um, clean off these crazy little um, clear stamps, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave it on here. And that's what I did for the other one also. So these um, clear stamps do stain, but this time you actually want it to stain. And then what I'll do is I'll just leave it like that and now I can use it. But now you see how you can see the pattern? See, the only way you can see it is um, when it's on this little sheet is because it's on this um, clear acetate sheet right here. But if you were to take it off, it's completely 100% clear. So when you go to use it, you need to, um, like I said, you needed to um, put the marks on it so that you can see where the leaves end and where the flowers start. Does that make a little bit of sense? So in my kit, <clears throat> it comes with four markers and I'm gonna use the green and the uh, blue one. And um, we're gonna start by uh, grabbing our, our little piece of watercolor paper here and using my magnet and I'm just gonna stamp um, a little bit at a time. So by using the little Misty, um, I can keep uh, going back and forth and only using a little bit here and a little bit there. All right, and what I mean by that is, I don't want it to dry out as I'm doing this, so I'm just gonna take, you don't want it to be too dark, all right? And I'm just gonna go down and do all the little flowers first. Don't worry about getting, um, don't worry about getting uh, the blue on the green or the green on the blue because you're watercoloring and it all comes out at the end. It's just so much fun. All right, there's that one. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect when you're doing this. It's just a lot of fun. And it's fast. It's really a very fast card to make. Watercoloring is, is very deceiving. You think that because it turns out so pretty that it's very hard, but it is not hard at all. All right, so I've got my blue on there. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do my leaves. I can, I, um, after I'm all done, if I've missed any spots, I can go back and I can do it again. But I like just doing a little bit at a time as I go along. So I've got my green. Just capturing the leaves. And they're filling in to where the flowers are. Do you see how it's kind of cascading now? There we go. Good, 
And let's see, we've got to do these little leaves right here. And this one, and we're almost done. Like I said, if you've, if you've missed any, you can go back and you can, there we go. All right, so there we go. All right, I think that I've got them all. You just kind of check and make sure. All right, not too dark, not too light. And um, we're gonna we're gonna head on over to the watercoloring now. So in our kit, we also have our number four brush, and here on the bottom we've got our little palette. So I'm gonna actually empty everything out and grab my palette. All right, and I'm gonna use my little box in just a moment also. All right, so now I need to grab just one of our little uh, dishes here. Uh, grab some water. And we can start to watercolor. Now this is how fast this is. All right, so we're gonna pick up, make sure your water is clean, uh, or your brush is clean. We're gonna pick this up and we're just gonna pinch it off, pinch off all the water. And I don't want you coloring in. What I want you to do is to just dab. You see how I'm just kind of dabbing each and every flower? And that's just softening it up. You're not gonna color it or you're gonna lose the lines, you're gonna lose the intensity of the, um, the, the, uh, the actual flower itself. So you just wanna kinda dab it. Dab, dab. And we're gonna do that with all of the blue flowers first. Okay, if you feel like your brush is getting dry, just go back in and re-wet it. Make sure you pinch off the excess. If you see water on your on your watercolor paper, then you know you've got too much water on your brush and just squeeze it out with your hand again. All right, just pinch it with your fingers. All right, you see how this is just softening up? I'm not coloring it in. If I color in, I, I'll lose the integrity of all these lines and you just wanna soften it up. All right, pinch it off. You want to go outside the lines too, remember that, because this is a watercolor piece. We're just softening and softening. You want to leave white in here. That is very, very important. You don't want to color the whole thing in because you're going to make your little piece look so flat if you do. The white just, just gives it some character. All right, so you see with this little flower right here, I'm just leaving some white in there and just softening up all the lines. All right, all right, so I think we've got all, see how fast this is? Now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do the greens and it pulls out the color. It just makes it pop. Okay, so we've got the basics done now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start pulling out color just a little bit, but I think what I'll do is I'll grab my marker and on my palette, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the green and a little bit of the blue so I can pick up some extra color. This blue looks almost purple, so it really lends itself really nicely to this, this flower right here. So what I did was I just dabbed my, my brush. I'm gonna pick up some of this blue and I'm just gonna dab it into some of the flowers. All right, it's just giving it a little bit more color, but don't color the whole thing in, remember that, okay? Just a little bit here and there. And we're gonna continue this all the way down. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the green. Let's put a little bit of extra color in here. There, okay. Now, we're gonna take some of this very, very lightly. You see all the water that I'm putting with it? And I'm just gonna take and just 
Don't go too close to your piece because you don't want it to bleed into it. But what I'm going to do is just kind of outline it with this light, 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 light blue. All right, don't get too close because you don't want it to bleed into your piece. You can even pull some of the color out from these. Okay, so I'm going to finish going around. I'll see if I need to pull out any greens. And what you're doing is just giving it a little bit of a shadow all the way around. It's so pretty and so, so easy. The biggest thing that I find when I teach this class is you need to make sure that you're not coloring. You're just, excuse me, you're just dabbing the color on. Look at how pretty that is. Can you see how gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous that looks? So pretty. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting it all together. We're gonna grab our pieces, all right? So the first thing that I did was to use this little background. And this little background comes from this die right here. I love this die, I use it all the time. I wanna show you another card that I'm working on. Do you see how I put some uh, glimmer paper or glitter paper behind this or sparkle paper? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Um, wait till you see what I do with it, it's gonna be so cute. Um, but that's using that die also. This time we're gonna use it as a mat. It's gonna actually go underneath it like this. And we're gonna do that with our thin foam squares. Now people always say, I don't need thin foam squares, I don't need black ones, but I'm going to tell you that there's always a purpose for everything. Now we're going to have quite a few layers on this, and if I started using the thick foam squares or my um, foam tape, and I made this many layers to it, you're going to have so many layers it's going to cost you extra money because it's not going to go through the postage meter. So I'm going to bring in my large thin um, foam, uh, foam squares, and I'm going to bring in my um, small ones. All right, And when you purchase purchase a package of these you get one of these and one of these and I'm telling you it's a great thing to try um, so let's just start putting the little foam squares around the outside right here um, and you can put as many or as little as you want I like to put them fairly um, close together because um, I don't want it to like sag or dip or whatever all right so I'm just going to take and put them all the way around And now I'm going to start using the larger ones, okay? So like I said, um, these are just excellent because we're going to have quite a few layers on this and I didn't want it to be too big. Um, you could use foam tape, but like I said, that's the same width as the, um, that's the same width as the uh, large foam squares and you're going to end up with a lot of extra um, uh, depth to it and you don't want that because then they can't um, put it through their postage meter without adding extra postage. Alright now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this piece first. Let's make sure that lines up nicely, very nice, okay. And then the next thing that we're gonna do, let's bring in the card, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay. We're gonna bring this in and we're gonna add it to our, our layer, or our base card. Now the next piece that I have is this little die right here. This is our love die. And what I did was I cut it out of a piece of our glimmer paper and um, I also cut it out of our navy paper. So I'm just going to take and grab this out of here like this. And I did it right in the middle so that I can use this piece as a layer for another card. Okay, so we have our love. And what I'm going to do is take some of my blue and add this to this. So I'm going to put the glue on. Oops, I found one I didn't poke out here. I'm going to put it on my love piece. And you don't have to cover the whole thing, just bits and pieces of it. And what I like about this is that it comes out so thin. There we go. And that's just going to get laid onto this little piece right here. Just offsetting it just a hair.
just like that. Push this one over just a little bit. There, okay. And then what we're gonna do is take some of our little foam squares and because I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here, okay, so I'm gonna put it on the bottom here and the bottom here, and then all of these over here are gonna get our little foam squares. So I'm just gonna cut them up into smaller pieces. Let's put the top on this little guy. It's very important when you're done with your glues and your crystal stuff that you put the tops on them so they don't dry out. All right, so let's just cut these into quarters. I don't need very many of them. It's just to kind of hold them a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna take, and I always take off this, the, uh, the top part before I take it off of here. It's so much easier, okay? So we're gonna put the glue right here and right here. So I'm gonna put a little pop dot here. So now I'm going to pick, take and put my glue. Let's check one more time. The glue goes here and here. So let me grab that again. Okay. And we're ready to put our love on. We are almost done with this card. Alrighty. Let's just, what I'm doing is I'm kind of centering it around. So pretty. Look at that, how pretty it is. Let's get all the rest of the stuff out of the way and show you how gorgeous this little card is right here. It's going to hold that down until the glue dries. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of other cards. All right, so, oh no, you know what we need to do? Oh, this is the cutest part of it all. All right, I'm going to bring in this little guy again because... I'm going to use it as a container. Now we have these amazing little things called prills. So I'm going to bring in my uh, crystal glaze and I'm going to bring in my prills right here. Oh my gosh, these are just the most adorable things. I've done many, many, many shaker cards. Go look at my blog. You'll see the shaker cards that I've been doing with them. They're gorgeous. So what I'm going to do, if you can see right on here, let me just bring this up and show you a little bit better. Look at this, look at, oh my gosh, look at the depth. Look at how pretty they are. They're just so adorable. Now, pearls are all different sizes. Some are flat, some are metallic. Um, they just make up the, uh, the, the whole little jar. It's so cute. So I'm only gonna put them on the ones that are the whole um, flower. I don't want them on every single one. Um, they just look cute here and there. Let's see, we'll put some down here. And I'm just dabbing on just a little tiny bit. Okay, let's give this a try and see if it's enough. If not, I can go back and put more in. All right, so I'm going to take and hold this over my little container. And just throw them on like you do. Oh, how cute. Let's see if I need any more. Do you see any flowers that might need a, a little one or two? I did. Oh, so cute. Look at how cute they are. You know, and they just, and all you do is let them dry. That's how cute they are. That is how cute they are. Oh my goodness. And the um, crystal glaze makes them dry um, clear underneath it. So um, they're just adorable. All right, and then I'll just empty those back into the container. You get so many of them. Um, this one is called Fuzzy Navel, I believe. Yep, that's the ones that I used for this one, Fuzzy Navel. Let me show you a couple of the other cards that I did. So for this one right here, I did this the exact same way, but what I did was when I cut this out like I did with this one, all right, this one I put a little background on it, but what I did was I used one of the um, layers that I had. I just stamped on that, popped it up, and it just came out just so pretty. Now for this one right here, it's a little bit different. It's absolutely amazing to do. So what I did was, let me just show you with a piece of cardstock. All right, so I had a full sheet of cardstock, and what I did was I put my cardstock in here, I inked up all of this, I stamped it, then I turned it around like this. 
I inked this up and I stamped it and that's where I got both of these. Um, it just came out so pretty. I stamped a little sentiment in the, I, I all, did all the watercoloring. I stamped a little sentiment in the in the middle of it and then just added some um, little sayings to go along with it. It just came out so pretty. And like I said, these cards are so easy to make. Um, watercoloring is a lot of fun. Watch um, more of my videos because I'm going to show you some really great cards coming up using the watercolor. I do a watercolor class, so if you live local and you want to tr give it a try, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you know that I'm always here. If you have any questions, um, make sure that you subscribe to our, my YouTube channel. Click on that little bell and it'll tell you um, when I publish a new one. Hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends so um, we get some more engagement in this. All right, you take care. Have a great day and thank you for stopping by.